Hi, I'm Samuel Lercy for GC Wired and Spike Sue Productions. I'm told we'll soon be address addressed by Chad Mullinex, president of Student Government Association. There appears to be some sort of event spreading throughout the schools. Um, I'm told it may have originated in Tallahassee and is working its way here. Um, you ready? Okay. Um, we'll go to our live feed in the Board of Trustees room where our president will address the student body. Good evening. My fellow Commodores, this week I had received information that an unknown virus has uprooted at Florida State University in Tallahassee. My research team has predicted that the rate of infection is increasing rapidly and without an option to contain it. They have stated that by Monday, October 11th, 2011, the infection will have reached Gulf Coast State College. At this time, I, President Chaz Molinex, declare a state of emergency for Gulf Coast State College. I urge you to stay indoors, arm yourselves, and stay together. I can assure you that we have this matter under control, so please remain calm. Thank you. I assure you, everything's under control. And we're back. Uh, we appear to be having some technical difficulties in the Board of Trustees room. Um, we have some more information, though, for you. Um, just to reiterate, it did start in Tallahassee. It appeared to travel to its sister school across the street from our campus. Um, the outbreak will be in full force by Monday. That's when you'll want to stock up on your Nerf guns. That's right. It appears that Nerf guns are the only things that can stop these um, infected individuals. They stun them for two minutes if you shoot one. Um, it's the only type of projectile that appears to stop them. You can't stop them with me melee combat either. Um, no type of blunt strike force will stop them. Uh, the cutting the heads off thing, that won't work either. Do not try that. If they tag you, similar to tag football, you'll be infected with the virus as well. If you're, uh, if you're leaving a class to go to your next class, you should try to travel in groups if you can. Break away from your groups at the last possible moment. Don't leave your friends alone out there. If you're a survivor, you must keep your bandana on your arm at all times. So you, can, um, you can tell who's who. It appears the zombies wear bandanas on their heads. We're not sure how they get there or why they do it, but it's a common denominator in all the zombies, bandana on the head. You'll also be able to tell by their shuffling and moaning. Stay tuned at Stay tuned with GC Wires for all future updates. I'm Samuel Lercy. This next week is going to be a trying one. Stick together.